So this right here that I'm going to be unboxing today is the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. Now this is their latest mobile phone. It has a MediaTek Helio X25 or an X20. Now this particular model I have is the 64 gigabyte version with three gigabytes of RAM. So this one here has the X25 chipset in it. It's got a 1080p screen, which is 5.5 inches and an interesting camera setup on the rear. So the rear of it, there is actually dual cameras. So dual 16, sorry, 13 megapixel cameras has phase detection autofocus. And what those cameras will basically allow you to do is take some rather nice looking photos with depth of field because of the two sensors there. It has a five megapixel front facing camera, dual SIM, micro SD card support. So it's all there. Spec wise, it shouldn't be bad at all. Now this particular one I picked up from top one from AliExpress because these guys tend to ship out and get stock before banggood.com or gearbest which I prefer to use because those websites at least offer PayPal AliExpress doesn't you have to be a little bit careful but I have found this seller to be particularly good for me so they have given me an EU power adapter because the one that's included in the box will be a straight prong style US style plug And they should have included some free gifts here. So they've given me a case and two screen protectors as part of the deal. Okay, so there's the box. You see there the dual camera arrangement that is on the back of the phone is interesting. And that's just outlining the specs there. So you can see that, uh, yes, pretty much what I outlined there. The Helio and the battery is 4,050 milliamp hours, which is a relatively large battery that should offer some good performance in with battery life. So let's get it out of the box. Now the seller, I asked them to install Google Play for me because I didn't want to mess around with that this time. But normally I, they can send it to you completely wrapped up as well. So there we go. Uh, I've got the white version, obviously, and nice build to it. Looks. Similar to the Mi Max or the Mi 5 actually. They're facing cameras, dual LED flash, and it has this brushed metal finish now that does actually look particularly nice. Not bad at all there. So along the bottom here we have now a USB type C port. We just have one speaker and a microphone will be hidden in here. Unfortunately it's not dual speakers. And on the right side, so we have the power on, volume up and down. Now that's made out of metal. The top here, IR, 3.5 minute headphone, secondary microphone there. And there is the SIM tray. So there should be a SIM tool here in the box. So I'll have a look at the SIM tray in just a second. And the obvious antenna lines you see there at the bottom. So right along here, that's all an antenna line. And along the top here too. All antenna lines there, but build wise feels nice and quite light too. I will just test the weight of that. Okay, so it's 177 grams, which isn't bad. And I will have a look at the thickness of it too. So there seems to be no real thickest point. There is no protruding camera, so I'm just going to measure it right here. And that is 8.4 millimeters. And on the front, that is fingerprint reader too. So if you're wondering where's the fingerprint reader, it's not on the back like other devices, like for example, my Mi Max here. So you see size-wise, there's the difference between 6.44 and 5.5. The Mi Max is just enormous. So we'll get this powered on now. Hopefully there's some battery in there. Should be having such a large battery. And while that is powering on, just have a quick look at what else is included in the box. So they have here just some information, but that's in uh, Chinese. And there's the SIM tool. So SIM tool there. I will quickly show you that SIM tray. A good thing this does support micro SD card, so you can go and insert your 128 gigabyte micro SD card. No problems there. That's the charger, and the charger is rated to 5 volts, 
2 amps. So they haven't included a fast charger, just like the Mi Max. Okay, that is already ping something there, so that has now powered up. Swipe to unlock. And then we have the standard MIUI there. It's running MIUI 7, I think it is, or MIUI 8. And have a quick look at that and the, the settings. Before I do that, let's look at that SIM tray slot. So, dual SIM slot looks exactly like the one on the Mi Max. So here we have either you can put a nano SIM or your micro SIM there or use a micro SIM and your micro SD card. Oh, and there is a Type-C cable included, of course, there for charging and data. So we'll just get that out of the way and have a quick look at the settings here to so see what version of the MIUI skin it is running on top of Android 6. So it is MIUI 7.3.1. You can see there's a bit of a shimmer happening here in the camera, but I can't see that. That's just on camera. It could be because I have the first screen protector on, which I need to get rid of. So that screen looks quite nice. Now it is a OLED screen and it looks very good actually. So there we see available space. I have 5.7 gigabytes, RAM 3 gigabytes. You can see the 10 core Helio X25 that clocks up to 2.5 gigahertz. MIUI 7.3 stable. Android 3 is the base. Let's close some amps there. So Play Store is there. The seller did put that on there for me. So free RAM is 1.8 on first boot. Then have a look at the, the modes we have here. So you've got to swipe up for the settings. This is camera modes. Let's quickly go through this. And apologies for that shimmer there. I will have to have a look at my ISO settings on the camera or the shutter rate to see if that's got something to, to do with it. So the typical settings here. So we have picture quality, standard, fine. And we'll have a look under the camera. So video mode offers time lapse, slow motion. Now the slow motion is only for 720p video. So as soon as I go along in here and select 4K, oh, no 4K video recording. That's interesting. So obviously the sensor doesn't support that. So only full HD. So that is that's interesting. I really was not expecting that. So the sensor is not going to support that. All right. So I figured out. Sorry, how to enable that to dual camera mode. So that's using the 13 megapixel rear sensor and the secondary 5 megapixel camera to create the depth of field. So to do that, you just go along here, touch that, and it tells you now you're in the dual mode camera, can shoot a blue effect. So if I, you can turn off the stereo mode, so you can just dial that in how much you actually want of that blur. So you can have right up close or even more blur. So personally, I think that's a little bit of a gimmick. At least it's not using software to create that effect, but a lot of mobile phones can do that anyway. And what they do is they focus on the subject, which is close up, and then later they focus on the background and combine both photos. For example, the Zenfone 3 Ultra does that, combine both photos, then to create the same depth of field look to it. So there's a bit of tweaking there that can be done. Obviously, I'm not in the, the right kind of situation here. Sorry, I don't have little Android figures in the background to take photos of and whatnot like most other people, but I will be going outside and taking some proper samples with this. So do check that out later on in the playlist. I will upload video samples and camera samples taken from the cameras. So that's the unboxing there. My first impressions are overall good. I do like the screen. It is bright. It has deep blacks, good colors, and the build quality of it too. You're on the back, Having that USB Type-C is a nice addition there, but it's a little disappointing to see that they didn't include a fast charger, even though the Helio X25 does support fast charging. So it's an interesting move there. They did the same with the Mi Max, and they're doing it again. So I will test out that back camera. I'll be going around outside in Denia, down to the marina where I normally go, and I'll take a few photos and see if using the dual cameras is actually practical or not to be able to take those nice photos, dip the field, nice background blur, and not just a gimmick. And the build of it feels good in hand. I do like the brushed metal look. There's a nice little change there from the normal, just the plain alloy. So if you're interested in seeing more on this particular model, I will have a full review coming up in a week. And shortly I will have some camera samples and video samples that'll be uploaded to the playlist. 
So hopefully I will see you back soon in the channel.